Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Echo Jungle. We're gonna be rushing straight into Nashers into Rocket Belt. It's really gosh darn strong uh, with Nashers rush because it's cheaper than any mythic item. On top of that, Echo has insane movement speed and some decent CC to where if you can just stay on top of them for a few seconds, the amount of damage Nasher gives you is ridiculous. So we're gonna do Nashers rush into Proto Belt. We're still running standard Echo Runes. You're still going to want to take Dark Harvest Sun, Impact, Eyeball, Ravenous into Free Boots and Cosmic Insight. Looks like we are up against a Master Yi. We definitely have the edge on him. Not in raw 1v1 fights to the death, but kind of just like outplaying him with our abilities. If we're both full HP and we just stand there and bonk each other, he'll win. We'll have to kite him out or take him when he's low HP or hit him with some heavy CC. You would think you'd want to start Q on Echo. You only do that sometimes if the enemies are invading you and you need to use that to get away really fast. Generally, W is your best start for the shield, the stun, and the on-hit damage it gives. It's really high. Typically, Echo, you want to look to farm as much as possible, get level 2 with double buffs, and then look for ganks. Taking a lot of damage here. It's all right. We'll heal back up. That's the nice thing about red buff is it just gives you so much healing when you're not fighting champions or epic monsters. Go to our Raptors next. You generally want to throw your Q farther away on multi-target camps like this. That way it slides through the whole thing, frontwards and backwards. You want to land both sides of it, obviously. First part's a damage in a slow, the second part's just damage. Might as well land both sides of it. Makes proccing your passive very easy. We don't want to go mid. If Zed was lower on HP or if we saw him use his dash, I would, but he has full energy, which means his dash is probably up. So it's better to just stay away from that. We'll bonk these guys once they have our passive on them. Do our blue buff now. If we had a leash, we could do blue buff and get to scuttle on time. Scuttle already spawned in though. I'll just take blue buff and then uh, take romp. You don't have to take bloom gromp at the same time. It's completely uh, unnecessary. I'm only doing it to uh, take it a bit faster and show you guys some slight optimization. Like I said, if we had a leash, we could 5 camp clear into Scuttle. Echo's Scuttle taking abilities are kind of shit though, since he, he has no way of killing it fast. And if you use your stun, it's on a long cooldown, and then you can't fight champ. So if you use your W on Scuttle and then the enemy jungler shows up, you're kind of fudged. Looks like he's trying to pinch off a kill on Mord. Bonk him. Yeah, just reset. Good stuff. Solid bait by the Mord. Surprised Set didn't just try to finish him off there. I assume Set didn't have flash is what happened. He can't kill us. He knows he can't. If he dashes on me, I can just dash away when he yes. comes outside of me. And then I could potentially yes. set up a stun. A casual Caleb. Sweet baby Jesus. Thank you for the five gifted subs, man. That's huge. Once again, we are rushing down Nashers because it's overtuned and really strong on Echo. You want to get yes. the recurve bow first. Yes. And then you can pick up a control word. Recurve bows insane for your clears, 1v1s, and ganks. It's really, really strong. And it's only a thousand gold. Uh, it's pretty realistic, realistic to get on your first back. It's not yes. like rushing down a team at where it's yes. 1200. A thousand is pretty easy to get. RCP 99. Thank you for the prime weapon. Yes. Machine, man. yes. Mastery is floating towards bottom side scuttle. They have mid prio. I don't want to contest it because of that. Even if I do have an yes. item lead on Mastery, yes. I will look for a bot lane gank. I don't think Zed's going to roam bot since he probably wants to buy. And he's not level 6 yet. Yeah, I think he just backed. I'll just go bot off this. 
Yes. Yes. Get it down to far out W. EQ on him, land the stun, bonk him with the autos. We need to kill the Draven. I can help him shove this. I could we could have left this in a freeze, but I think my bot lane just wants the short-term golden XP. I'll help him shove it. Nice, nice, nice. Yumi slunk away like the parasite Yumi is. Yes. Yes. Your sync just on and it all rolls and it's my fault. Hey, she's good. <laughs> just about every roll, to be fair. Raccoon Boy69. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to the stream, Raccoon Boy. Yes. Yes. I think they I think they know where we're going realistically. Hopefully they're just not paying attention. It's obvious he's going to Raptors next and that we wanna hit him on it. Yeah, he's probably in the bush if I had to guess. Wow, I don't know where he... Where the heck did he go? Did he just reset? No, he didn't reset. Yeah, he's mid for whatever reason. I don't think he's going to die from that. I went out too early, dude. I thought he was gonna try to run through me anyways. My bad. I greeted there a little bit. I even burnt my flash for it. Yo, hey, I'm Psycho. Thank you for the tier three sub, man. That's huge. We're like one of the, I think there's three people who have tier three sub. Very exclusive group. We're getting some new emotes here pretty soon too. I have, we have them getting work done right now. We have our level six. You should be hitting level six before the eight minute mark on Echo Jungle, and you just keep scaling from there. It's the nice thing about him. There's not a constant stress or pressure like when you play Udyr or Zin Zhao, and you're like, man, I gotta end this game. Echo, you keep scaling. It's not a big deal if the game drags on. We're gonna be able to play throughout it. EQ onto him, land our slow, bonk him a bit. We are pretty close to Nashers. We'll wait for 700 gold. We'll wrap red, go him into bot lane gank. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Hey, I'm hey, I'm Psycho. Five gifted subs. Thank you so much, man. That's nuts. Yes. Yes. We're going bot lane here in a second. Yeah, bot lane's looking juicy. You can count on Draven players to play up. It's kind of what they do. Constantly looking for kills off their spinning axes. And they have to hit minions to maintain it. It's pretty guaranteed. They're going to end up shoving at some point. Yumi, Yumi, Yumi. Blue smite. She's going to get bonked. I'm gonna hold on to my R, I don't need to use it for her. <laughs> Mordekaiser, sneaky. How did Mordekaiser even get down here? He didn't use TP. He actually just walked his way down. We're gonna lose a lot of top plates off that, so whatever. We can go back and get our Nashers. I'll go back and get Nash right after Golems. One of the biggest ways you're gonna close down on enemies is E then Q. If you're confident you're gonna land the Q, you can immediately do it. But uh, if not, you can just E into them, blue smite, hit them with E, and then Q them at point blank range. At the end of the day, as long as you're landing all of your abilities, you're doing it right. Whichever means you need to, to land them. We've got the full bonk tool, and now we can go into our uh, Protobelt. Protobelt gives you a lot of mobility. You can E Protobelt into them. Then uh, land your Q at point blank range. It sets up your whole kit very nicely. Night Harvester isn't bad on Echo. Protobelt's just stronger. Until they nerf Protobelt, Echo's going to keep using it as his core. We're going to W out behind him. Looks like he's running away anyways. He has 340 base movement speed. I think I can run him down. Yeah, I can. We'll just keep bonking him. That's the power of Nashers. We didn't have to use our R. I 
I'm not even gonna get the Dark Harvest stack. Oh well, I'll let Mord get him. As long as he dies, I'm okay with it. Nice. He got his, he didn't get red buff. His red buff must still be up. What's going on, Goose Smurfs? Ooh, his red buff wasn't up. I got you baited. Look at that attack speed. It's so strong. We're waiting for Seth to come back. Ooh, or not. Question is, can Mord kill him before he comes out of it? The answer is no, he can't. That's perfect. I wanted the kill anyways. Looks like they got Dragon. Set says GG report you for troll. I don't think he's trolling, dude. I think he's just trying to play some Master Yi jungle and is getting bonked by Nasher Echo. I already knows that's coming over here. I don't want to mess with it though. Zad's gonna tear me up. He's gonna press R, which is gonna outplay me. Cause it's sticky. Zed's R is sticky like an auto attack. You can't get away from it. No matter how hard you believe or try, once he presses that R on you, it's all over. He outplayed you, that's the outplay. And then he presses R. I thought he was gonna dash for me, but he didn't. He could have easily killed me. I didn't have my R up at the time. My R just came up. I figured when he saw me here and he was here, I figured he was gonna cut the corner and R me, but he didn't. I was playing around my E. You can get Dark Soul on Echo. It's kind of, it's a little greedy if you don't have anything built towards Hourglass though. They have a lot of kill potential on their team to finish me off. Since I am fed, I could probably get away with it though. If you do want to go for, uh, if, you, if you feel very confident, if you're smurfing or you're just an echo main, you can go for a uh, the stopwatch, free stopwatch, and then it, it's a much safer. I went for free boots though. Yikes, they got away. Gotta bonk him. I can't get to anybody though. Oh, I missed. <laughs> my Q, my Q was chilling. It's like you sitting on a couch and my Q was right there by him, but it didn't hit. I'd actually go for it. Seriously. It's bonk time. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a Dark Seal. We're just so fed, we need it. We need it, guys. Used to watch all your videos back, really helped a lot. Thanks for the content, and you're doing well. Hope I'm doing well. Thank you, GGZ, by the way. Appreciate that, man. Echo's very good against squishies. He's not even bad against tanks. He has a lot of kite out potential where he can do like half the tank's health and just play around his cycled abilities. His main weakness is his early game. If you're invading him early, his first two levels are pretty bad. Even his level three isn't that great for 1v1s to the death. Once he's level six and up or has full item, that's when you really start to see him shine. We still can't afford tier two boots because we have other things in mind. We have our proto belt and a dark silver ready to go. I'll get mesh here in a minute. I want to get tier two boots first. The problem is, is if Yumi hits me with the snare and then if Set CCs me, I'm just gonna die. So, I gotta set myself up to be as mobile as possible. Where Yumi can't do that. Especially, I don't have tenacity either. I may have to go for Merc Treads. Against their team, if they had more AP, I would definitely go Merc Treads. Gotcha. 
We got her with the protobelt. Let's go. I wouldn't have been able to get her without it. I had to E and protobelt into her. She was going to be gone without proto. That was a clean whiff. The minions weren't too interested in me. They'd aggroed my minions. I kind of set myself up pretty much. Swarm with purple fireflies. Oh, he's just running away. Thought he wanted a piece. It's not. That Emax second. Draven's still missing. Yeah, he's just running away. He's 2v1. Why is he scared? He doesn't want to fight me with the tapeworm. Go for dragon. I know I could win it 1v2, but I'm surprised he didn't want to take that. They have a lot of outplay potential with Draven's knock and Yumi CC. There he is. There he goes. Draven's on the move. Gotcha. <laughs> oh no, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> that's exactly what I didn't want. Was... <laughs> That did 700 damage? Whoa, that's about half my health nearly. Damn, I didn't think that would happen. I thought I could go in there and just bop him. Hit him with a bonk real quick, but set. No, 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 not quite. Not today. Uh, I guess we'll go Mej next. I'll go Mej into Hourglass. I'll go Magic Hourglass into Lich Blade. What do you think about Kane Jungle right now? It's fine. You can play him in any elo. He's still banned in high elo. Charisma doesn't get to play him very much. Kane's really annoying to play against because you can't really kill him. He doesn't want to fight. He's too mobile. And he scales. Damn. Yeah, that set who's so far behind just did that. He just carried that fight for them. <laughs> that was the bonk we were talking about at the beginning that's why nash is so strong on echo just a few autos that 73 extra on hit damage is really high and me and zed are the same level guys literally the same level it's not like i was three levels up on him proto belt was extremely necessary for that without proto i wasn't gonna be able to get to him Fighting Yi Yumi is going to be another story. There it is. Gotcha, Yumi. Gotcha. Yumi disintegrated. The moment I touched Yumi, she just... <laughs> I was like trying to hold water. My buttons are breaking. My escape key just fell off my keyboard. Bonk. You're gonna start seeing Nasher's echo everywhere. It's just strong, guys. Right now, the most common echo build is Protobelt into Lich Bane. I guarantee you, within the next month, it's gonna be Nasher's into uh, Protobelt instead. Your 
play what you want your teammates when i when i'm try harding and ranked i'll play what i want but i also try to make sure it's what our team needs it's monsters both. like olaf and you there olaf and udir the most important thing is avoid early 1v1s with them that's how you lose the game wow all right can't complain about that it's a lot of damage olaf warwick udir if you're trying to go toe to toe to the death 1v1 you 80 90 percent of the time you're gonna lose those you have to make sure they're at some kind of a disadvantage whether it's items levels uh that type of thing or like they take a turret shot yumi's gonna get her nasty little fingers on me dirty champion Dude, Set is actually so nasty. His auto attacks are doing so much. He's doing more than Draven. This game, I don't know, man. I probably could have outplayed it there if I played it a little better. <laughs> I'll put you with my keys falling off my keyboard. I have a few keys that do. My escape key and my... Uh, some of my arrow keys so luckily not my important ones it's usually keys on a mechanical keyboard that you've intentionally pulled off before for one reason or another they don't always stick back on the way you would want them to we're gonna lose dragon off that this game's getting really really tough i'm one of the only fed people on my team and uh, they have some tools to deal with me, mainly the Yumi. She's, she makes things difficult. Bonk him, boys! <laughs> Hit him with the bonk! Oh, Yumi. Tape warm. Yeah, buddy, got ye R. Ye, ye panicked hard. He didn't know what to do. I don't think we can end. We are gonna get inhib off that though. Yeah, top lane's probably the right call here. Morgana, no, that ward it gave it away. Bonk. He tried out play Echo. Little did he know. I'm dead. <laughs> Master, he started going invisible. I couldn't see where he's at. Oh my goodness. Got a Lich Bane. Dude wouldn't die. My R didn't hit anything, unfortunately. I kind of had to R, though. Dang. Oh, well. This is still very winnable for us. Even with Master Yu being Master Yu with the Yumi. We got this. I 
I should have used my sweeper too. I don't think I did. I couldn't tell where Master Yi was. He got one kill, disappeared. He got another kill, disappeared. I panicked there. Can I sing my favorite song on stream? I don't have a favorite song. I could get Oblivion Orb. I have so much burst that I'll probably just end up getting a Robidon. Selling something for it. Yep. That's about right. E and a Proto Belt. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the sub, SD Fraps. He is a disgusting champion. So gross. He's about to outplay me by pressing Q. I say we just force it down their throats here. We give them what they really want. Let's give Master Yi what he really wants, guys. I think Master Yi backed. Hey, let's go, dude. No way. All right, Nashers is actually disgusting. <laughs> All right, GG. <laughs> GG, guys, well played. You've seen it here first, folks. Nashers Echo will be meta. It will become more and more common until Nashers is nerfed. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to come chat and chill live on stream. We stream five days a week. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.